Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to grow some microgreens. I've done many microgreens videos on my channel and I've got tons of questions about many different things. So I collected a bunch of questions and decided to make a video covering some of the very basic things. For example, what type of seeds microgreens are, where to get them, and if they're the same as the regular gardening seeds. Also, many people have trouble with mold so in this video I'm going to cover that as well. So microgreens are basically the same thing as normal vegetable or any other plants. The reason they're called microgreens is because you harvest them at a very early stage. As soon as they start to sprout the first true leaves, that's usually the best time to cut them off. If you search online, you can see that these are very nutritious and very delicious. That's the reason why many people grow this. And also, they're very, very colorful because you can grow microgreens of all different types. Today, we're going to do some microgreens for people who are just starting to learn how to grow them. This is a good practice and um, you can use this method to try it out before you grow larger quantity or a lot more to use. The items you will need are very simple things that you can get at your local gardening center or Home Depot or Lowe's. I like to keep things very simple and cheap so I like to use recyclable items if I can. I'll start listing the items you will need and uh, if you have these available they could be very cheap to grow and if you don't you can totally get this at your gardening center. Okay so the first item you will need are going to be trays. The trays can be very simple trays. These are the type of trays that you would get uh, if you order food to go. Uh, you can just save a bunch of these and, and these can be used for growing microgreen. If you're not ready to grow a large amount then these are perfect. These do not have any holes, but if you like to, you can just punch holes all over here and that would work too. So you would need two of them on top of each other like that so that the one with holes, when you water, the excess water can fall out to the second uh, tray. And if you would like to buy trays, these are available anywhere. Your gardening center, I found these online for just a few dollars. Amazon have these, so check there. There are two types you can get. These are the one with holes as you can see there and these are the one without holes. So they'll go on top of each other like that. Excess water will drip out to here and that's where you collect it so you can keep your grow area clean. And when growing microgreens, I would recommend you grow these indoors. They don't take very long and they need very little light. Indoor has perfect condition. There's not too much moisture and not too much heat. That's where I grow most of mine. Okay, so that's item number one. Item number two you will need is a spray bottle of any kind. You can get this pump spray at Home Depot. You can use the smaller Home Depot spray too. They're very cheap. And then you will need organic potting mix. Again, you can get these at your local gardening center. Any type of organic potting mix is fine. Then finally, you will need seeds. Microgreens, again, are just basically smaller versions of whatever you see here. So these are broccoli. And so microgreens are tiny broccolis that have just two leaves. Same with radish. These are delicious. These are my, two of my most favorite. So that's why we're growing these today. You can also do uh, beets, arugula. Arugula takes much longer. So if you have patience, do that. If you don't, then skip that one. You can also do karate. Search my channel, I have a bunch of things on uh, microgreens. So we're basically ready to start. Those are just the basic seeds that you can get. I and mean, then these are, I don't recommend going to Home Depot and get these because these little packages can get, can be very expensive. But if you are going to test it out, you wanted to try it out, uh, to learn it and become successful before you invest in larger quantity, then definitely try these out and uh, I always recommend buying the organic types but for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna use what I have so the first thing you would do is you would take your tray then you just add some soil you don't need a lot of soil because these are, again these are microgreens you they're not gonna stay in this very long so within five to seven days sometimes at the most ten days and they're ready to harvest so you don't need much soil what I have here is basically about 
half an inch of soil in there. That's all you need. To speed the video up, I already have another tray that's ready. So we'll need some water into here. You just need to wet the soil really well. This soil is really dry, so... Notice that this container seems very wet. That's because the soil I have is very dry, so I need to uh, make everything moist. And so that's why it looks so so wet there and dripping. But once it gets uh, settled, everything will be fine. It will look just like this. So we're ready to go. The next thing you would do is you take your seeds. So we're going to do broccoli and then radish. And with grown microgreens, you, you want to fill the container up as much as you can to cover all of the soil area with seeds. So I use the entire package. You can actually use two packages if you like. And then for this one here, we're going to use the broccoli. These seeds are much smaller, so you're going to need a lot of them. Okay, so we have done spreading the seeds across the soil. Usually I would add more, but I, I don't have any more seeds. What you want is to cover all of the surface of the soil with seeds. Two packages of that would work, and another package of that would work. Since we're out, this is all we're going to use. And what you will need to do now is cover this up with a very thin layer. You don't need much. Spread them out. Just make sure the seeds are covered. They don't need to be covered completely. That's all you need to do. Now spray it down a little bit so that the seeds can make contact with the water. Okay, we're pretty much done now. So you'll need to put this away from sunlight for the first few days. And the reason for that is these seeds do not need lights to sprout. And because we're doing microgreens, we don't really care if the seeds are leggy and tall. So that's why we hide it away from light so that they can grow nice and tall. And when you harvest, it's much easier. And if you grow this in your garden and you want these seeds to be planted in your garden, you want to expose this to light as soon as possible. But with microgreens, it doesn't matter. So put this away. It doesn't have to be in complete darkness, just somewhere away from lights for the first few days until they sprout about an inch and then you can expose them to light. If you hide them from lights, they will be like a yellowish color and as soon as you expose them to light, they will turn green. So growing this indoor is best because you there will be lots of ventilation. It's not too hot and humid, so there would be no mold in these. If you guys experience mold, that's because the humidity is too high, there's too much water, and there's no air circulation going through these. And that's usually when you get mold. Another reason you get mold is because the seeds are bad. You want to get seeds from a good source where they are fresh seeds. And fresh seeds will sprout faster, they'll grow better, and they'll be all even. The bad seeds or older seeds will usually would not some of them will not sprout and then they even cross mold to grow and it just looks nasty so you don't want any of those so get seeds that are fresh add air circulation to help circulate this through so that it's not too humid and uh, make sure that humidity is low so that mold cannot grow if you have a fan you can just blow some air across these that that would also work too but uh, you don't need to unless you have uh, very high humidity and you can see some signs of mold anyway that pretty much cover the basics of how to start growing microgreen for the first time try to use simple things this method is very very easy to do so don't try to buy expensive items or go out of your way to to do things that is unnecessary just keep it as simple as possible and, and that's all you need to do all right so um, i'll come back in a few days and show you the progress and see how much it grows and we'll follow this progress until it's ready to harvest and you see everything that's all for now 
Okay, here is a sneak peek of the sprouts. In just one day, they have started to sprout and come out of their shells. This is the radish sprouts right there. And this is the broccoli. So as you can see, these grow very, very fast. So you want to monitor the water and make sure they get a good amount. If they're dry, give it a little bit of water, like that. Not too much. And that is all you need. Make sure they get good ventilation. If there's too much humidity, you want to reduce that so you don't want mold to grow. All right, today is day number three. And the plants have grown quite a bit. The radishes are starting to push out of the soil, grown really nice and tall. Same with the broccoli. Notice how tall they are and skinny they are because this is what I've been doing. I have these covers on top like this. And the reason I do that is because I want to hide them away from lights. And when you hide them away from lights, they'll start to stretch. And when they stretch, they become nice and tall just like I want it right here. So today is day number three. Make sure you give them some water. Use your spray bottle and just, just give them a nice spray. You don't want these to dry out and you don't want to overwater them. So, so that's all you need for day number three. Today is day number four and check out the sprouts. They're growing really tall now and as you can see how leggy these things are. That's what Gardner referred to as leggy when they're really nice and stretchy. And I did that on purpose because I want it to be nice and tall so when I cut them it's easier to harvest so that you, and you get a nice clean harvest. Same with the radish sprouts. Notice how yellow they are. That's because we had the cover on top. Even with the cover on top, I don't have any mold. That's because I grow these indoor. There's lots of ventilation. It is not too much humidity. So these will grow just fine without the mold problem. So I will open this up now and expose these to lights by my window. Uh, you don't need too much light, just any lights by your window and that's all you need. The more lights you get from the sun, the greener they will turn and uh, in about two days they're ready to go. So I will come back when they start to turn green the next day and that's when I'll end the video because that's pretty much all there is to growing these. Okay, welcome back. Today is day number five and my greens are ready. Notice they're not yellow anymore because I have these by the window and they have been getting nice good natural lights. The radishes are grown very nice and tall and the same with the broccoli sprouts. And the reason they're very nice and tall like this is because I shield them away from lights as I mentioned before. And the reason for that is so that you can harvest it just like so and you still have the nice top layer of tall sprouts without getting too much of the dirt in there. So that's why I like them really tall like this. These are really nice and crunchy and delicious so they're very good in a salad. These are excellent in sandwiches so or you just throw a few of these in your salad they're great as well. These are a little bit spicier so you don't want too much of them at the same time. But if you make sushi or anything like that throw a few of these in there uh, they're excellent. So when you harvest these they will not grow back because uh, they're just one stem and the leaves at the top so once you harvest them there's nothing left so what you want to do is throw this soil back into your compost pile and just let it decompose and then once new soil is created those are really excellent soil for growing microgreens again as you can see growing these are very simple you can just use very simple containers which will cost you nothing and the seeds, if you want to try them out, go to Home Depot, Lowe's, or any gardening center. Grab a few uh, of those um, packages and test them out. Do a test run. Make sure you, you become familiar with the growing process and how to prevent problems from happening like mold and stuff. And then you can grow your microgreens. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope this information is helpful for those trying to get into growing microgreens. Um, it's very, very easy. It's fast. So try it out and uh, have a good time. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe.